We're out here at uh, Mrs. Wozniak's house. We're going to do some siding for her and uh, replace a rear patio door. Um, we're not doing anything with soft and facial. We're just focusing on basically the two gable ends, um, some kind of, uh, I guess, some aprons over these windows on the right side of the home. Uh, there's eh, basically five of them that, uh, that we need to basically cover with hardy uh, and the gable ends. And then the rear of the home is kind of our scope of work. Um, we have some wires over here that are tucked up under the soffit <clears throat> running into that gable vent that are completely dead. So we can remove all those. There's only one phone line active from the, the box over here that we need to preserve and that's running right directly up through here into the soffit and then into the house. So all these other wires running up at that uh, where the uh, soffit dies, that's all getting taken down and discarded. Um, basically on the side here we're doing an overlay completely indicated nothing wrong with the existing siding we're gonna wrap it with the Tyvek system and then continue on with our trim and siding this gable vent we're gonna use that and just repaint it, it this will be retrimmed in a 1x4 hardy product and then you can see kind of that uh, the little bib or whatever on the uh, the windows uh, we're gonna overlay those with the hardy material as well on all five of these basically. This one really is only like a one by four here, but all of these will be addressed. <clears throat> Coming out to the rear of the home, this is primarily the uh, the biggest part of the scope of work here. Just basically an eight foot wall. Um, we do have some rot along the bottom, kind of especially where this flower bed was that let that soil creep up too high and uh, it's causing some issues for the uh, the siding existing. So what we're going to do in the back here, just to make sure so we can inspect kind of the base plate and make sure there's no rot in the framing, we're going to cut this up probably about a foot all the way along this back, 57 feet, to make sure that there's no rot. Replace that with the OSB and then continue on with our Tyvek and uh, siding. Have a few hose bibs. We got one hose bib, we got one GFI. So those we could do J boxes for. And we got a total of four windows that we're going to retrim in one by four hardy. And then the door that actually we were replacing, we're going to retrim in one by four hardy as well, which is right here. We're doing a perma shield canvas uh, inside and out door with the Encino hardware in bronze. So that's what we're looking at there. Uh, but pretty straightforward. Um, going to look beautiful when it's all done. We're going to the horizontal cedar mill select, give a much updated look, much more updated look to the home. And of course, fully address all this rot here that's pretty much along the entire back bottom perimeter of this wall. Coming over here to the last area of the home that we're going to be doing is the left gable and a little bib over the, uh, over the garage as well. So again, in, in good shape here, um, as Mrs. Wasnicka po pointed out, the brick is different colored just from uh, on each side, just from fading. But what we're going to do is it is a Sherman Williams color on the paint uh, on the wall now on the gables. So she's going to give us that uh, formula so we can match it exactly. So it'll all be sealed up in here. Um, new one by two or one by four on the exterior corner up there. There is no freeze board. So we're probably gonna wanna put a, add a one by two freeze board there uh, of Hardy. And it'll be sealed all along the chimney line as well. Um, we have some small area right here that we can do with the, uh, probably like a one by four Hardy. <coughs> and then here's the other half on top of this window some small area that we need to retrim with the hardy product and then if you can see kind of right in between these two trees right at the where that gable line dies into the top of the roof there's been some squirrels munching up there so we're going to repair that uh, before we continue on with our our process wrapping both garage door frames here she's uh the missus had to replace uh the frames especially the bottoms down here on each side in the center post so we're going to wrap this entire thing in hardy for and, and take away that headache uh, so there's no more rotting issue with the garage door frame 
and then we have this area up top that will also become the hardy siding. So that's the scope of work. Um, looking forward to uh, the project and Ms. Wasnicka, we appreciate you choosing Southwest Exteriors to do the work and uh, look forward to providing you a great uh, experience. Thanks so much.